shit. Bloody fucking shit. It almost <laughs> cut me. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And another horror unboxing. Here we go, you sexy bitches. Ah! You're ready for it. Ah! Now you're ready for it. Ah! No one was ready for it. What are you gonna do on October 31st? What are you gonna do on October 31st? Here comes that white-faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits, cause he's a white-faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you wanna know about the darkness? I said God damn. God damn you fire. I said God damn. A lot of people don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said God damn. What are you gonna do on October 31st? Oh. Letter? Question. Okay. Let us have this. How fucking oh, dare you fuck fucking dude. send this? No. <laughs> I'll get to that. Oh in my a god. Minute. Was that the darkness itself? The I don't motherfucker know. looked like a cabbage patch kid that got pushed back. <laughs> hey, butt sticks! Your recent review of the Entity reminded me of Paranormal Entity, the asylum known for ripping off popular films. Um, actually, it's near cursive that we're made me here. of. If wait a minute, it's to be Jay. No, wait. Let me, I can do it. Let me try. I have a six cursive sense. I took three weeks in Rosetta Stone. Give me the letter. Give me the letter. All right. Hey, fucks this. Your, your recent review of the entity reminded me of Paranormal Entity, the asylum known for ripping off popular films, accidentally made me of, if not the scariest found footage uh, movie of all time. Ooh. Made me think of, if not the scariest movie of all time. I've watched horror my whole life, and horror movies haven't scared me since I was a kid, except for this one. Yeah. I highly recommend a lights off slash sound up viewing for maximum dread and terror. You don't want to have a horror movie night with me with lights off, because oh. there's all sorts of weird shit that happens. So touch your wiener. Cracker Jacks and explosions. Hopefully you enjoy the flick. It's your problem now. <laughs> Love your channel and your faces. Um, Trisha or Trent? Uh, motherfuckers. Trick or treat, motherfuckers. Oh, Ron no. Ron DeBona. Fuck you, Ron. At Evil Dead Ron. Brings. Thanks, Evil Dead Ron. Oh, man. He says, I happy Halloween and trick or treat, motherfuckers. Evil Dead Rock. Evil Dead Rock. Okay. You know what? It scared me. I swear to God, it's it, like when I looked at it for the. I thought I said Enchilada Ron. I was I was generally scared. I thought it was Buster Ron. I was generally scared that we had a Buster Rhymes autograph, and if that were the truth, we would have to frame it or burn it. I don't know what. Son to do of a with bitch. It. But that's from Evil Dead Ron. It's a picture of Buster Rhymes trick or treat motherfucker uh, himself. You're spitting a lot, Mike Tyson. <laughs> you scared me, dude. You scared. God, that's scary. That's the scariest thing. I don't you want can that someone. ever in my but house. He sent us. Could you comment. imagine? You know what? We frame that and put it in the bathroom while we take a shit, because that's the same face that you make when you have a beer shit. He sent us a copy of. Paranormal entity. Decide the truth for yourself. Um, I'm not watching that. He says it's scary as fuck. So you know what? This is this is this is the best because yeah, that's good. no no it's it's October it's October. You want to watch something scary? You want to watch something that's gonna fuck you up a little bit that you haven't seen before? This is a great viewing experience. I look forward to watching this. Uh, here's the here's the back of the movie itself. I've never actually I've heard of it, maybe seen it before, but What's never it thought about entity? watching it. Paranormal entity. He says it's mm. fucked up, and you can't knock that because if you guys remember. There's a couch there. I'm not just throwing it into the fucking yeah, he is. neither. Uh, He's but throwing it into the fireplace the where it belongs. Ghost Encounters, okay. one of the scariest movies fucking ever. Ghost? Grave Encounters. Grave Encounters. And Grave Encounters are fucking awesome. That's Underrated scared, as shit. Scared the shit out of me. And we're in the sequel of that movie. Yes, we are. I don't know if you guys knew that. Talking about Grave Encounters. Thank you, man. Thank you. We really appreciate it. I really like the Vicious Brothers, though. In Grave, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, in Grave Encounters 2, they... They, oh. they put the most shittiest. I looked like I had got that sweater from Mother and Thanksgiving. <laughs> like it was terrible. Like I don't know. That was when we were first starting out. It was really cool to be in the film though for a second. Yeah, we, we, Cool Duder was in that film. Uh, there was a lot of vloggers that were that were put in there. But yeah, we we it was fun though. We had a party. I had a great, the yeah. night it came out on VOD. And then nobody gave a shit. Yeah. All right. Now see, see if you can read this one. This better be in piece of shit Spanish. It's in Spanish. No, it's not. Oh, I'm so strong. It's in Latin. Liberate tatume viri ex. Husband's bulge. No, it says, save yourself. 
<laughs> but how, uh, Stabbing westward. And then it says in addendum, marriage. Uh, Mike and Jay, how goes it? It goes well. We're in Halloween or month, you sexy fuck. I found these two items from a local Halloween store called Crypt Keepers. Ooh. You can probably open it while I'm reading it. So it's no, wait. The owner, it's fine. No, wait. It's all right, baby. The owner told me, don't you fucking dare. Don't call me baby, baby. Sweetheart. <laughs> the owners told me that they were one of three stores that sell these very colorful items in which they do remind me of the fictional stab movies in the Scream series. Oh, but fuck yeah. Ass. Okay, I hope you enjoy them and hope to see them in future skits and I hope Mike stabs his dick and finally circumcises himself with that knife. Don't tell my secrets. I don't know why. How was, do you know? Like, are you watching right now? What are you waiting for, huh? Nothing to be ashamed of. Come and snuggle in the bed. Uh, in the background, he wants in the background. The Fear Finders are local free newspapers that showcase of local Halloween haunts around Michigan. I've collected them since 2007 up until now. I actually met Steve Shipp, who is the cover artist of all the Fear Finders. So I thought you'd love them and the very familiar shape on the cover. Is it a poopy turd? He says the shape underscore. So we know what that means. By the way, you have a really nice, like, cool jack o' lantern with a nice. Today, the, the, the Junior. How about you just suck a wiener? They are also signed as an added bonus. Oh shit! Bonus round. B Sorry about my shitty handwriting. You know what? Your shitty handwriting is what I can read, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, party on, Mike, and party on, Jay, Mikey M. Party on, Mikey M. Thank you so much. You get the official swing game on of the episode. Game yeah, uh, he also on. he also drew a little uh, cool jack o' lantern with a knife going. Uh, Reminisce of Halloween. I like it. Is that All right? Just some nice blue paper. Some nice blue paper. Yay! Some lovely. I was gonna say Rip Taylor. By the way, R.I.P. He died. Did you know he that? Did. I just saw that. That's, That's fucking crazy. Crazy, crazy man. All right. He uh, was in Wayne's World also. Black bag, a special. Oh, I see some bright green. Oh, dude. Oh, 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 oh yes. fuck, fuck, dude. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, that's fucking red. Dude, he's dude. got two of them. It's the ghost place fluorescent mask. Dude, we should totally go if they ever have. You know what? We should wear these for uh, for Halloween kills. We should just be the only people in the in the theater wearing these. Oh my god, dude, that's fucking awesome. That is awesome. So okay, uh, it says uh, okay. So it's got the it's got the screen thing on there and fluorescent mask. I I don't remember honestly. I never remember seeing. Uh, <laughs> I remember seeing. Um, you know, the, the ghost face oh, masks yeah. at like Walmart and Kmart and Roses at department store and things like that when the movie came out, but I do not remember seeing ever the fluorescent mask. I've that never is, seen this before. That is badass, man. Dude, smell it. Smell your mask. Dude, I can't see what the thing is. smell like vanilla dreams. Dude, I really can't see. What the fuck is this? Tell me the Steve. Like I'm look, I'm it's looking a grunge at, thing. I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, wow, fucking last year. Yes, yeah. we are. Dude, this smells, smells so good. It's good, dude. Peach. It smells so good. Thank you, man. That's fucking rad as shit. That's amazing. Yeah. And then also in here, uh, he's got the four copies of oh sweet tear finder. Scary he stuff. Also, oh, it's got Steve. Oh, okay, there's the autograph right there. Steve Ship. Oh, he, he said he was responsible for the cover art. Yeah, those are both autographs. That is badass, man. Michigan's scariest places. We can get you there, but we can't make you go in. That's what she said. Oh, man, that's so cool. I like that. We can get you there, but we can't make you go in. I'm just going to lay down the foundation. Olive Garden, a movie. We'll get you there, but we can't make you go in. BJ's Breweries and Beers. So what we got here? We got some... Dude, is that Michael? Like, that's Michael, dude. Oh, yeah. And the, and the deep... Oh, we, we have different episodes. No, it's just... Here. I got two. Yeah, we got different ones. That's badass. That's Michael Myers. And there's a, there's a kid with a Jace. And you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of... Uh, like, you remember those Mad Magazines? Yeah, dude. Like, ultra, like, crazy... Uh, you that know... Uh, Dude, that's fucking cool. Thank Character you shoes? so much. Thank you so much, man. That is so fucking rad. This is amazing. Those are awesome. Dude, and those, those scream fluorescent, man. Oh, he's right, dude, because it shows all the different haunts yeah, throughout man. Michigan. That's fucking What's going dope. on this year? That's fucking dope. Is this old? I love it. 
Thank you so much, man. That yeah, was really sweet of you. Seriously, I've never seen those masks before. I'm jack, and they smell so good. They smell so good. You know what? We could get one of those framed. We have a, a tiny package here. This one's from Landon Peterson. And, and, and by the way, thank you so much, dude. That that is fucking rad. Really sweet. Really nice of you. Landon Peterson. Um, we got. Oh look, oh, look at this little guy. Look at this little. Oh, look at this little Chucky. Is that Bucky? I mean, Chucky. It's little Chucky. Is that fucky Chucky? Hopefully. Yeah, there it goes. Little Chucky. Little Chucky. That's why won't nobody do? Why are his eyeballs? <laughs> he finally saw his own movies. He's been through some shit. He saw his own movies. <laughs> Blinding see. by the light. That's cool though, I like that. He says, uh, Dear Mike and Jay, thanks for helping me through my depression. Uh, you're amazing. Uh, when if I got- fucking broke, I'm sorry. Like that shit's called gravity. What happened? It fell off. Oh no, it's good. It's right there. Okay. It's safe. Um, uh, dear Mike and Jay, thanks for helping me through my depression. Uh, you're amazing. When I got cheated on, oh, uh, I thought no man. one uh, could change that, but you guys did. Uh, you both made me laugh hard. I, I kept replaying it. You guys changed my lives. Uh, and no, everyone has a hero, but for me, you guys are... Oh, man. Come on. You guys are my heroes. Uh, so, uh, hearts, uh, here's a Chucky figure. Thanks from Landon. Thank, Thank you so much, man. man. Yeah, we both. Yeah, man. I, I'm we, sorry that happened to you, man. We both been cheated on, dude, and it's hard and it sucks. But uh, I can tell you this, man. It makes you stronger on the other end because you come out. And I, I was going back to the same thing that um, that that Will Smith said. I, who would have thought I'd bring out a Will Smith fucking reference? But that's what happened to, to Will Smith when he was like 15 years old. He was like, a girl cheated on me, and after that happened, I told myself I was like, I will never ever let that happen again. I will never let another dude. Be better than me, and, and and you know maybe that's that's a hard thing to live up to or whatever. But it's it, the point is is that it makes you stronger and it makes you realize that you lived through that. It sucked. You went through the worst of the worst. And then you can be yourself. Then you can be yourself, and, and you can say, you know what, I am who I am. And if you don't love me for me, you're gonna cheat on me or whatever it's gonna be. You're gonna fucking live for yourself. You're gonna come out of that a stronger person. And uh, thank you, dude. I yeah, I mean, uh, I really yeah, appreciate that. Like Mike said, we both went through the worst of the worst, and uh, I specifically. Well, it doesn't matter. But the fact is, I understand exactly what you're saying, and uh, it really sucks when that happens to you, man. And uh, you know what? The coolest thing is, though, is the fact that you you rose above it. I and mean, we're not responsible for it. I'm glad that you think we're your heroes or whatever. But really, the guy is that's a hero is the dude that looks in the mirror. I'm not, you know, it sounds corny, I understand. It's the truth though. But it's, it really is. Every day you get up and you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, hey, you know what, another day. I'm gonna keep going, I'm, I'm gonna keep going every second, every extra mile that I go, every time I go a little further today, that's a that's a win. Yeah. And you're doing that. And good for fucking you, man, and this is awesome. And I'm sure that her vagina smells like wet dog and fucking nasty ass herpes, <laughs> and but you're better off. Fuck her, dude. You avoided that fucking that's temple of doom. Getting cheated on Goodbye, ho. the worst way for a relationship to end. And when you're talking about relationships, you're talking about love, you're talking about a connection, you're talking about a trust that you have in another human being. And it's right. one of the worst things that, that you can go through as a human being. So uh, I sympathize with you, dude. We've both been through it. And uh, you're going to come out a strong motherfucker in the end. Do something nice you're gonna look like You're going to look like Big Rams. You're you going to say, like, fuck y'all. And he also sends us this beautiful piece of I'm Chucky really art right too. here along with that man. Thank you, Landon. Thank you, man. We understand, dude, and and I was we, trying to I was trying to put that on the on the background, but it it won't stand. It like it kept falling off. Well, that's bullshit. You're a fucking piece of shit that cheated. Sometimes you gotta you do have a game game. Thanks, lady, man. I really appreciate, appreciate it, you, and, and we're honestly honored. Like I said, we've been there before, and uh, we'll be there again. I'm sure, because <laughs> we're like unlovable assholes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this package comes from. Killing Frost oh. Productions. Killing Frost Productions. Killing Frost. That sounds scary. That sounds like Brie Larson's fucking representative. That sounds scary. Killing Frost. And yet factual. Move your arm. I might step. Don't, through. dude. I might go through. Don't! I, I don't might. have any insurance right now. I might get Stop crazy with a stick. Fucking bitch. I'll see you. I'll see you for all your five dollars in Cracker Jack boxes. <laughs> That's all I got. My my Cracker Jack box. I are want all I the have. prizes. Don't take my Cracker Jack. I want the prize. Oh, okay. Well, it's just it's not really a letter from. That's a lot of shit. Oh, it actually is. Okay. Um. So, it's the best kind. It's printed. Dear Mike and Jay, greetings to you both. I've enjoyed your channel for about a year now. I'm a fellow horror slash Halloween fan. I have sent you a few things to say thanks for the laughs, the love, 
the sexual tension, and most of all, Jay's 1,000%. No, I'm kidding. I hope these things express my gratitude. I also create scare badges and have included some for the both of you as well. A shameless plug would be most welcome, but not mandatory. We're going to plug the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. Keep doing what you're doing and all the best. We're going to plug the shit out of you, plug the shit out of us. Ba-ding. Chad Veredin. Veredin? Get some goddamn wham up in you, as they say. P.S. Feel free to read this on air if you wish. I should have read that first. I did not. Too late. Um, so Killing Frost. You want to play game? Production. Man, do you own your own shit? Like, that's his own production? Yeah. Really? That's badass, yeah, I think man. So. I think so. Official KFP scare badges. www.etsy.com slash shop slash Killing Frost Pro. Check it out and put your It's on, on Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. What we got in here? I don't know. That's badass. This one says cool fucking cover to it. Yeah, that's a a nicely written letter. This one says J on it. Kai. It says J. So. Why do you always wait for me to open it? Go forth, my son, and prosper. Night twins. Night twins. You know what it's allowed. It's gonna be a urinal cake. (laughs) It was just one time, one time. Oh, that's actually, that's smooth. Oh. That's so smooth. This is Jason, 1997, when he realized that he doesn't have to kill anymore, and he's trying to take a chill, but at the same time, he has to kill sometimes. <laughs> tell me of Ohio. I can't tell you about that. That stupid little boy. I'll kill you later, <laughs> Chris. But this is, like, it looks like, I love the, I, the color on this. It's bad. smooth. It dude. really looks badass. Look at that. That really yeah. fucking cool. It's got that smooth, that's a nice paint job, man. That's Dude, that, really nice that's like job. if Jason had disappeared for 10 years, then he comes back with a cool ass, fucking smooth ass mask, yeah. and he like shows up to save the day, and you're like, Jesus that's Christ. Nice. That's, that's a and good he one. would talk, and he would say, what's your name? You forgot to that's me. <laughs> you forgot about the right? That's, that's a smooth look. Man, thank you so much. Man, that, that, it feels good, too. All right, this, these ones say Mike and Jay do not cut. Okay. So, I would peel. <clears throat> I think these are the horror badges. There's a lot, yeah, it looks like there's some. Major badge, badgery. Get it out. Major, major badgery. Get it out of there. Oh fuck, that's my face. Holy oh, shit. What <laughs> it says, we watched the movie, AKA Michael Myers, get some goddamn way up and you mic with the sweet little. That's badass. That'll at least get you a Starbucks coffee. That's fucking awesome. And then, oh, <laughs> we got, we got Camp Crystal Lake with Jason as a staff member. That's badass. Is that you too? No, no, it's, oh, it's Jason. I thought you. As a staff member, we got Horror Alumni Class of 2001. Oh, with Jeepers Creepers on it. That's fucking awesome. That's cool, man. And then um, David Kessler, uh, Yorkshire, England, the slaughtered lamb. The <laughs> slaughtered lamb from uh, uh, American Werewolf in London. Oh, that's actual. Go on there. That's actual. That. And then finally, oh, patient Michael Audrey Myers, insane Smith's Grove Asylum. Yeah, I don't think you need to wear that fucking badge to know that he is. So we're not gonna wear that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it'd be funny actually. You know what? If we were like the, t- if we were doing a skit, like if you were in the public, we would have to have you like a, a dog badge. We got some stinking badges. So I guess the. Uh, that's great, man. Thank you. Uh, the one with my face on it's my favorite because I'm me. I wanna wear the round and be like VIP. Pippi, back at the Aerosmith concert. Hey man, a lot of people's girlfriends are in there. Thanks, dude. Oh man, so we got, what we got there? We got the Dr. Lovas, medical staff. We got our, I know, I was just showing you. I know, I was showing it to them. Well, I'm showing it to you. <laughs> oh, okay, I have my own We Watched a Movie. AKA, Dr. Loomis, where is my gut that Asian teeth? <laughs> That's badass. I did. That's awesome. Um, we also have a Michael Audrey Myers uh, patient as well. That's fucking badass. Oh, dude, I got this fuck horror alumni class of '84. Oh, with uh, Freddy. The, the Springwood slasher. So not only are you gonna be the alumni, but you're a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is my the, dude. Uh, I love the, the, the Wham badge and all. Definitely wear the Wham badge. We should wear that in the videos. Uh, U.S. Antarctica Research Program pilot, R.J. McCready. Oh, oh fuck off, dude, dude yeah, that's I mean, awesome. Are we a third Earth rock, man? That's, that's fucking rad Take shit, me to man. Take me you wolf. cheating bitch. Welcome to the human race. <laughs> that's awesome, man. That is fucking cool. Thank you. Yeah, check this oh, guy out, man. I know you're gonna love this. I know you're gonna love this. Well, I mean, your kids are so... Just do it, Jay. Oh. I, I, oh. Dropped, I dropped a badge, bro. (laughs) 
<laughs> sound like fucking. That's like, like that's like an old lady <laughs> farting. <laughs> shoo, shoo. See if I can recreate that. Oh, oh that ah. was a big pop. -em. Waiting for that one. Big pop. Em. All right, this big one pop says, pump. Mike, do not cut. This is so exciting. This, Damn, this shit's like in the butt, man. Do not cut. Oh my god, dude! I, I lost another tear. batch. They're ripping in the. I will not lose. These oh, bags. dude, dude! Uh, I don't, I don't even know what this is yet, but I can feel the, the, the it cutting can, in the air tonight. I can feel the edges, and I, dude, I'm a huge sports card I fan. Feel like I'm doing. And this. I can feel exactly. This is a graded yeah. something. Oh, fuck! Just a tit oh, oh, What? What did you get? Oh, dude! What dude, is it? No! Oh my god! It's a. What football. the fuck, dude? Dude. It's a Brett Favre. Oh my God! Rated Jim Mint tin rookie Brett. Oh, fuck, dude, this is my shit. This is my shit right here. I hope you guys. That's a, that's a graded Jim Mint tin Brett Favre fucking rookie card, dude. You know me more than anyone. Let's open it. You can't. You can't open it. Yeah, you can. It's in a Jim. It's in a graded fucking. Was he a good dude. basketball player? It's funny because when he when he played for um, when he, his one year in Atlanta when his rookie card year happened, he never got a chance to play. His coach was a fucking asshole, and the only thing his coach would let him do is his coach would let him come out, and, and the coach would bet the the other coach like money. Like that, Brett Favre could throw the football into the top level of the stands or not, and the other coaches would bet against him. And he would bring Favre out like he was a fucking circus animal and make him throw the ball up there. And then eventually they'd trade him to Green Bay, and the rest is history. But this is a score 1991 Brett Favre fucking rookie card, Jim Mint graded ten. Oh, dude, that is that is, that I'm touched. Yeah, I, but, I can't tell uh, you but yeah, whatever. I got R.J. McCready. Oh man, that's so um, fucking cool. I would have yeah, bet that he would have made Wrangler commercials. He did. What are you doing, Matthew McConaughey? McConnell. Where's your, did you open yours? I, gave I didn't you, have one. I gave you yours. No, you didn't. I'm pretty sure I fucking did, man. Unless that was my card. All right, here, Jay. Do it not, says Mike. It says Jay, bitch. It says oh. do not cut. Can't you read? No, because there's another one for you. There's another one. It's fucking cool, man. Now I'm all nervous and shit. Because <laughs> you're giving, like, so many cool presents. It's like... I guess you don't have nothing oh. in there for me. Oh. 3D grading. Is there a letter? I can't tell. No, it's like a slip. Oh. Of some sort in there. What's that? Oh. Oh my oh, god, dude. dude. This yeah. is a fucking Robert England Freddy Krueger autographed oh, card. Shit, man. Uh, is this his address? Because I'm going to totally go to his home. <laughs> it's Robert England. It's autograph. Robert England's autograph. Look at that shit. That's fucking cool, man. Uh, you're sat. Look, this is the face you make at the cafeteria in high school when someone is going to eat the sticky cheese. And you <laughs> Dude, don't care. We don't have a Robert England autograph. I know, this is badass. That's a first, man. That's that's legit his autograph. Yeah, dude. That, let me look. I want to touch it. I know it's yours, but I want to look at it. RobertEngland.com. That's fucking beautiful. It looks like he's doing a fucking commercial for guest jeans. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's bad. Cool that's, shit, thank you so man. much, man. That's really, really sweet of you. That's, that's I can't. I, it, it, like, dude. Like, I mean, you it's went like all, you crawled inside our mind. Like, you have like you. you the, the badges were enough, and the mask and shit, and you're. Why do you do this to us? Because you know we're going to have sex with you. This one says Cheney Entertainment. It says, oh. Dude, oh. that is fucking, that is, that's legit, dude. That, hold it, put it. Go to the other part. Go to the other That's every, that's every man in 1976 when he realizes it's cool Look to have a Look at that shit, dude. Look at that fucking Wolfman autograph right there. Does he have Nards? Wolfman's got Nards. <laughs> Cheney Monsters. Look at the back. Oh man, that's so fucking cool. That's so fucking dude, cool. That's like dude, that's like one of the, that's that's the original universal fucking monster. That's Lon Chaney, dude. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh my God. Thank you, man. I don't, I don't even know. Have you ever seen the original that. Wolfman? Yeah, dude. It's something to behold. Um, is this the, is this the letter that we already did? I think we already did that one. I think, I, I, I think I might have put it back in the box. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so. All right, now this one says J. Okay. Dude, you did not have to. Yeah, you guys really go above and beyond. Every single time we open a package up, we're literally expecting like something, maybe a note and, and a, and a hand-drawn, um, you know, maybe artist, a, kick, a, kick, a cat bar. 
that'd be good. I'd be psyched. Whatever, payday. Um, but you guys really, again, just go way beyond, uh, you know, what we think uh, that we're gonna get. And again, you know, we don't expect anything, and we you don't we'd love to. to hear from you guys, and, and you guys continue to. So it's some t-shirts. T-shirts. I like the color on that one. Killing. Frost. Oh, it's Frost his production, production company. Yeah. That's badass, yeah. dude. And it's got uh, 10 years of fear. He's also on the back. A uh, Night to Dismember. Is, is, are these haunts? Yeah, Night to Dismember, Night of the Creeper, Dinner with the Family, Dead Endings, Blood Harvest, Tortured Souls, Cutting Ties, Outpost 58, Borrowed Time, and Road Signs. How do you... How did, nice name it. How did you know my color? You reason the grindage, dude. Dude, this is fucking badass. Like, yeah. this, like you know what? I'm not a t-shirt guy, but this is... It smells wonderful. It's got a nice color and everything. And it's really got a really, it's gonna make my fucking eyes pop for prom, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man. That's that's really sweet of you. That's fucking right. And I don't, I, he'll take it so I don't, uh, and here's another one. Oh, dude, this one, is, like, I like oh, this one. I dude. love the color. This one right here looks like a fucking glow in the dark um, kind of shit. What's the, Nightwing? Yeah, Night Nightwing is colors. Nightwing colors. It's Nightwing colors. Fucking Dick Grayson's in the household. Uh, <laughs> look at that shit, dude. Look at that. Like that shit just pops right off the fucking uh, off, off the teeth. If you're wearing this shit, you know you mean business when you come to the to the uh, putt putt course. That's bad. So ten years of fear, and I like how on the back you've got the check marks and stuff. Dude, that by the way, your logo is fucking dope. I love yeah, your logo. That's sick, man. I got the same thing. I got I got both t-shirts in mine as well with those sick ass because I'm a large Jay's medium. I'm a little bigger. It's okay. I have a large dick. <laughs> it's okay. The colors, man. The logos are man, dope. Thanks, man. That, I, I gotta I gotta be honest with you though. I, I'm gonna say the purple's really cool. It's one of those casual things, but the black and blue. Like that highlight looks so fuck. Um, like that, it just it strikes me as like a, a fucking fancy nightclub. You know what I mean? When I see the, like this particular blue on black, it looks so fucking good. Like it reminds me of I'm coming to a nightclub that I can't afford, but I'm being dragged here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bum a lot of drinks and cigarettes off people. <laughs> but dude, thank you so much. Yeah, Killing Frost Productions. Down. I love my Brett Favre right card. I'm gonna trade this in on eBay Give that for my Michael Jordan card. No man, you you again. You why why are you guys so sweet? And you, with that one, this is really cool. By the way. Yeah, I, I really love the masks. Thank you, man. I, I, amazing, uh, amazing shit. Everybody check their shit out down below for sure. That's that's so fucking cool. I can't believe you went Brett Favre on me, dude. You touched the cockles. You touched the cockles. And you, forever will your hand be dominated by right. testicle disease. So this is the last box of this unboxing. Now we have we have a, 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 a slew of other boxes to open for the next unboxing, which will be very soon. I just want you guys to know if you sent something and it didn't make this unboxing, we just grabbed it at random. Um, the next ones will be in. This, the last unbox of today will be a creepy crate. Ooh. They're cool enough to send us their crates shit. of creep. So right here down below, creepy crates. Well, they, they sent this is like the third or fourth one that they've sent us, and it's always fun shit in these boxes. Creepy crate. They don't give a shit about your date. They just want to skate on your face. Hey. Do you <laughs> want to be my mate? <laughs> <laughs> um, creepy crate. Uh, this is like the third or fourth one of these we've done. Amazing. If you guys want to check them out, it's totally worth the price. They always send awesome shit. I'll put the link down below as well as right here. Let's check what's in this month. Yeah, Creepy Crate's really good. It's October now. The last, the, the last be crazy October. Stop doing that. They might take you seriously and call the law on both of us. Creepy I call Crate, the Creepy law Crate, uh, and really, I uh, did. Law one. They got some great stuff, man. Like they, they gave us some really cool shit last time. I right, got this sweet little insert card. Well, let me open some. Welcome to the haunting. Welcome well, to the haunting. Let me open one. All right. Cool. Ghost Toga. All right, take this one. Take, take this there one. I saw it. This is a Ghost Tober beanie. Gear up for the colder weather with this paranormal hat. Perfect for your next haunted oh house adventure. Oh your head will be nice and warm all winter, even if it's nice and right, cold. No, no, Ghosts. don't say that. It's Zach Bagans. It's Zach Bagans. It's Zach Bagans. No, dude, I was gonna wear it. Too late. Whatever. Oh, that shit's gangster as fuck, dude. I dig it. This wow. is October as fuck. Well, Mike still shit from well, me, so I can't wear it. You were slow. You were slow. You can have it. I don't want it now. Your fucking dirty you lights here touched it. That's a and this and this is honestly a very nice feeling. Winter. This is a Halloween beanie. Yeah. Can I now use the box because you're stealing yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. Let me get some of the. Shit. 
Okay. I'm just going to show you guys because Mike doesn't get to see them. Can you spit out the fucking black cock from your mouth? I'm going to Oh, it's, it's the pubes. This is badass, dude. Look, uh, it's notepads. Uh, welcome to Overlook Hotel. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. That's badass. Oh, cool. That's fucking cool as shit. You can spit it out now. I need to. I'm going to swallow it. You got Overlook Hotel notepad. That's really cool. I'm keeping this. Oh. Not bad. Oh, we got a book. We got a book here. The Bus on Thursday by Shirley Barrett. I hope you choke the fuck out of that with your fucking dick horned mouth. I swallowed it. Okay, so we have a book here. It's called The Bus on Thursday by Shirley Barrett, a novel. Um, not sure what the fuck this is all about, but bursting with raucous energy while anchored in serious Raucous, you stupid fuck. How about this? Why don't you take your beanie and put it on your fucking dick? I'm gonna rob you of your bacon and eggs. And I can, uh, why don't you put some fucking curve in your pants to disguise the smell? It wasn't just a bad breakup that turned element. I don't want to read the subs. It smells good. What's the book? Oh, fuck! God damn it, you fucking overzealous bitch whore! It was not gonna come to you soon. <laughs> yes, you slissed. No, I didn't. You Show it to me. You overdramatic bitch. Look, dude. Oh, it's tiny <laughs> as fuck. The book here we got is The Bus on Thursday by Shirley Barrett. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's funny because it's it, always it as a novel, but it stops right there. It stops a little bit early. It's a full, this is a full book that would cost you 15 bucks. It's The Bus on Thursday. They give you a full fucking book, $15 by itself. That's bad. Almost worth the price of the box all by itself. Fuck and by the way, the over, this is really like, I, uh, they probably didn't get to see it. Oh, the, the, the Overlook the, Hotel? The, no, notepad? The, but on the very bottom, on the very bottom, if you hold it up, it says all working, uh, no play makes Jack a dull boy. Fucking genius. So your wife could write or your girlfriend could write a grocery list on this and you'd be like, you fucking read the bottom? I'm not ready to do shit. I'm not buying any Nutella. Uh, let me let me tell you what I'm gonna buy: pizza rolls and fucking goddamn hot pockets. Uh, burritos that are uh, high in calories. Now I wanted to show this. Um, by the way, I love your. The fuck uh, is that, dude? I, I'm getting this. This is mine. What is it though? Let me see it. Look. Oh, what is it? It's a flashlight. It's a flashlight that says Ghosttober Travel Channels Ghost on your beanie. All along, just like it's on my beanie. But you get a little flashlight in there. But by the way, I, I like look. I love the ambiance of this shit. Like I love this. Like you know, like it's fucking goddamn Ooh. Ozzy Osbourne packed this motherfucking box. It's really. Sick. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Open your mouth. But anyway, no. Come on, just do it. <laughs> okay. But by the way, creepy crate. Yay. We love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys put out some quality shit. Oh my God, I'm blind. I can't see no more. It really went the. Opposite. I can't see um, what the. But this black shit. Rings, but I want to buy you banana rings. Nobody will buy banana no, rings no, now. But uh, this looks like you know, goddamn Alice. Cooper bullshit, but either way, it's kind of cool that you have it and we Just like here. it. But you also these things right here, we would have missed it. These are magnets, dude. Oh, a little they're cool. Like it. look, like um, look at the. There it's like. Oh, thing. fucking creepy as shit. And you look, uh, they're like buttons, but they're not. Hotel Cecil. Hotel Cecil. Can you guys fucking yeah? There it is. There it is. The sweet box. And then we got a... It's the sweet one. Oh, Ooh, I was hoping is there a poster yeah, in there, too? Yeah, I think... Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's the Haunting of Hill House Bitneck Lady poster. Get it out of my face! Dude, it's the fucking... Look how scary that bitch is in the back. It's the think. Bitneck Lady from the Haunting of Hill House. Holy... Shit, Dude, that's give me awesome. nightmares or give me nothing. Give me liberty or give me the bit lady. That's a special, special boat. Okay, and then... Uh, there's more? There's one more thing. It's in, It's really tight. It's really tight. Carefully, Quincy Ocho. Cotraca. You see me coming to you with a fucking toboggan on and a knife? You better watch out because I'm coming to get your fucking Brett Paul hey, rookie cards. You really look like Zach Bagans just got possessed by a ghost <laughs> on the Travel Channel. <laughs> What's that? The, dude, something just tickled me. Demon house. Something just tickled me. Demon. 
Someone's got a feather in my butt. I, I, I know, know the camera didn't catch it, but I swear We may not want to talk too bad about it because he might be helping out Creepy Crate. I hope not, but look, Demon House, literally there's one scene when he goes like this. Suddenly, I was overcome with an evil, uh, evil force. He was like... And then he walked away. He was like... I, I wish that guy had turned around when he did it. He's like, do something. <laughs> do something, go. And he'd be like, nah, I'm kidding. Can we cut that out? Can you act scared for a second? Fuck. Post Malone. Yeah, you do. Do you look like a fucking guy that that Don King left at the goddamn gym that was never gonna make it in boxing? Uh, you're a tomato can. Uh, you're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> okay, so we got a coffee mug. Ooh, I love coffee mugs. Black like my soul, your wife says. <laughs> oh. That's oh cool. man, yeah. that's fucking. That is right up my goddamn alley. Black. Black like my soul. Black like my soul. That's how I take my coffee. Like I like my women. Don't tell my wife. That's what I tell Black every- Black like my soul. Whenever, and whenever you, uh, whenever you, when, when a customer asks like, hey, how you doing, John? I'm like, black like my soul. That's how I'm doing. That's what I like. That's how I'm doing. Like, <laughs> me too. That's a genius fucking coffee That's cup. That's a really cool one. That's a genius. And again, guys, guys, Creepy Crate. The boxes are man, always. They deliver, man. The they boxes deliver. are always fantastic, man. The the Honey and Hill house poster alone is a one of a. But you get time. you get you got okay. So what'd you get? You got two cool magnets. You got a great. You got a, a fucking badass coffee mug. You got the badass poster. Yes. You got a cool novel. Yes. Right. And then you got like a, a cool flashlight and a beanie on top of it with a, some weird fucking. Uh, Mike put that there. But dude, the thing about Creepy Crate is, and I don't want to sound like, look, we're not getting sponsored by Creepy Crate. We're not getting any money from them. Unless they want to give it to us, and if they do, hey, creepy. I'll cast that shit. Whatever you want to do, black like my That's soul. That's why they call me Post Malone. You don't look like Post Malone. You look like Post the asshole. I don't even know who that is. Is that Carl Malone of the you know 1999 Post YouTube? YouTube? He is Utah, not the Utah Utah Jazz. Man. He's the he's the he's the uh, shit man. <laughs> Post Malone's the shit man. But anyway, uh, you really get a, a, a great selection of cool things that uh, Creeper Crate would send you yeah. every month, and uh, they do a phenomenal job. But either way, uh, thank you so much, Creepy Crate. But most importantly, thank you so much for everybody else that sent us um, personal gifts and items uh, that they worked hard on and that they procured themselves. We really appreciate you guys. You guys are overwhelming in your support and you're always uh, amazing us with your talent and your giving souls that you guys, every month, every time we open up a new box, it's fucking phenomenal. And thank you guys, again, the, just a small portion of the stuff, like the badges, the mask, the, the letters, uh, the, 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 uh, the autographed uh, newspaper thing. Dude, you guys have, uh, the masks, uh, you know, the stab masks and, and the movie. Yeah. Wow, man. Oh, you guys dude. are so cool. Thank the, you. The thing about these horror unboxings is it's just this. And, and literally, when the, when the show started, it was me reaching out to people on Facebook, on Instagram, people who had their own little Etsy stores, people who were doing cool horror stuff, that I was like, hey, um, send us stuff. I think this is awesome. If you guys send it to us, we'll unbox it on our channel. We'll try to get you guys more sales. We'll try to show off your stuff to more people. It's all about sharing in the joy of opening presents together, sharing in the joy of like, oh my God, we're all horror fans. Let, let's look at this together. How cool is this? It's not about us getting shit. Uh, we're very lucky because we do get shit and we're so thankful for all of it. But the, the funnest part about the show is what it matters. What value do you guys get out of it? What value to the people watching this show get out of it? And that's why we do these. And that's why it's gotten so big. It's one of the shows, we have to do it every week now. I, that's, that's why it's gotten so big, and it's because we get to look at cool shit together. We get to promote awesome, awesome brands like Creepy Crate, Killing Frost Productions. We get to we get to show off really cool uh, people's talents and 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 the things that people do. And we also get to look at cool horror shit together. I'm so proud of this show, and I'm so proud of all the people who send stuff into it. I, I'm just I'm I'm happier than a pig and shit, man. This is an awesome. You look like thing. a pig and shit with that that shit coming out your side. Let me write you a song. But no, yeah, like Mike said. Um, and the thing is, when we open these these gifts up, and uh, you know the enjoyment that we take from them as we you know, get surprised by all the cool stuff. It, it's, it's, it, to me anyway, it's like we're all opening it together. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's for all of us. It's not just me and Mike, like, we're inconsequential butt turds. Um, 
We're lucky dudes. Thank you all. I'm lucky that this has a sofa on. We love you, and there's a whole other box of shit, a couple boxes of shit in there for us <coughs> to open that we'll be back next week with. So if your shit didn't get opened in this one, it will in the next one. We love you guys. Thank you. You guys say We, we don't deserve too. you, but we'll fucking stab you. Well, let me point out one more thing. I kind of want to stab you. Woo! Seriously, can you tell me if that was... If that is that Robert England's fucking real address? Because I'm gonna go. What are you gonna do on October 31st? What are you gonna do on October 31st? Here comes that white faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits because he's a white faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you wanna know about the darkness? I said, God damn. A lot of people don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said, God damn. God damn you, Michael! What are you gonna do on October 31st?